What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about hiding your silver without a safe, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for weekly videos. And if you want to help support by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs. And for a limited time only, we have the Can't Stop Stack and Won't Stop Stack in t-shirt and hoodie. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about ways of hiding your silver, potentially in plain sight, hiding your silver somewhere that a potential thief might not think to look. Now, right off the bat, the safest way of hiding and keeping your silver protected is with a safe. I don't want to harp about it too much because this video is mostly talking about how to hide your silver without a safe, but I strongly encourage everyone to have a safe and to keep your silver and or gold inside of it. I know that there's a lot of reasons why people don't have a safe jet just yet. They are big and bulky and heavy and sometimes they are a little bit pricey and at the end of the day, if you can't afford a safe or if you are saving up for a safe or whatever the case may be, something is better than nothing. So in the meantime, if you want something that you can lock the silver in, I always encourage people to get maybe a mini lockbox. It's small. It's about the size of a shoebox. It can obviously very easily be picked up and taken out of the house if somebody wanted to do that. But if you can lock it up in this mini lockbox and then hide that somewhere, something's better than nothing at the end of the day. I will include an Amazon affiliate link if you guys want to get the lockbox that I have inside of my safe. Moving forward, how to hide the silver without a safe. I thought of three ways you can do this. Three ways to hide your silver, potentially in plain sight, and one way that's not necessarily in plain sight and the first way is probably geared a little bit more towards junk 90% constitutional silver. So this is a way that I thought of a little while in the past, and I did make a video about it once before, but the secret is to fill up a change jar. You know how some people just throw their loose change in a little jar or a cup or an empty jug of water, whatever the case may be. Now, I'm not encouraging anybody to do this specific thing. This is just something that I thought of. What if you were to fill up a change jar, but it's not necessarily loose change. Every coin in the change jar is 90% silver or 40% silver if you stack that 40% as well. Somebody might look at it and view it as, okay, here's some loose change. Let me grab it. Other people might say, just a bunch of coins. It's probably only $8 worth in there. Meanwhile, it could potentially be worth hundreds of dollars. So like I said, this isn't something that I would really recommend. It's just something that I thought of one time in the past, and I figured I wanted to make a video talking about ways of hiding your silver, quote-unquote, in plain sight. So if you have friends over, if you have family over, they're probably going to see it, and they're probably not going to say, hey, I bet that stuff is 90% silver. I bet that stuff is worth way more than face value. No one says that. Nobody thinks that unless they have any type of knowledge or education when it comes to precious metals and how much it's worth, yada, yada, yada. So that is one way of doing things. The next way, since it might be a little bit hard to fill up a change jar full of American Eagles and just let it sit there on your dresser. One way I thought of, now I know a lot of people like to bury their silver underground. It's all personal preference. Everybody has a different opinion. Some people's opinion is, oh yeah, it's a great way of doing it. My personal opinion, I think it's a little bit ridiculous to do that, but the way they do it is with PVC pipes. So if you wanted to get a PVC pipe, but you don't necessarily want to bury it underground, I'm right there with you. I don't want to do that either. But something you can do with a PVC pipe, you can get it. You can throw in some oxygen absorbers. You can throw in one of those anti-tarnish pieces of paper. They come in these little cubes or they come in these little strips. 
I will link that in the description down below. But you can fill up one of those PVC pipes, a size of your choice that come in all different lengths and widths and whatnot. You can fill it up with pure silver, junk silver, any type of silver, some gold, some cash even, a watch, whatever you want. Your valuables store inside of this PVC pipe and then you can take it to a section of the house that maybe you don't often use, maybe a room of the house that nobody's really ever in and you could potentially, you know, pull up the carpet in the corner of the room and screw around with the floorboards a little bit and then put it underneath the floorboard, close it back up, put the carpet back on top and then push a piece of furniture into that corner of the room. Maybe a dresser, TV stand, a lamp even, whatever the case may be. This is a way of hiding your silver, not necessarily underground, but it is right below the floor of the house. You could do this in probably any room of the house. You can do this inside of a closet if you wanted. You could do this potentially inside of a garage or maybe a shed in the backyard. There's a lot of different options when it comes to this. You don't necessarily need to go out in the middle of the night. I know a lot of people talk about how, you know, wait till two o'clock in the morning and then go run out in the backyard and dig a hole and then put your silver in there and then bury it. As I said before, everybody has a different opinion on that. In my personal opinion, I think that that is a little bit ridiculous. I think that's a little bit extreme. I don't believe there's any real reason to do that, but some people are different. Some people believe that is the way to go. Some people believe that's the best way of hiding your silver. Everybody has a different opinion. So those are the first two ways that I think could potentially be decent way of hiding your silver, somewhat kind of sort of in plain sight, and the other one maybe not so much. And now the third one that I have, this is something that I thought of just a couple of days ago. It's something that I don't believe anybody has ever done before, and it's going to sound a little bit funny, but I actually made an entire separate video talking about that. So the third and final way of hiding your silver, this one is kind of in plain sight, kind of not. It's already a video. It's already on YouTube. I posted it just last night on my second channel. If you want to go check it out, it's titled Keep Your Silver Cold. And at first, first glance, it might seem like kind of like a funny video, like a joke, which it kind of was, but at the same time, it was also kind of serious. It's hiding your silver in a way that probably nobody would think of. So I strongly encourage everybody to go check out that video. It's already up. It's on my second channel. It will be linked in the description if you want to go check it out. I highly recommend it. It's kind of funny, but it's actually a pretty smart idea at the same time. So do with that with what you will. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Just posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, the can't stop stacking, won't stop stacking video, the brand new mystery industry where I kind of reviewed an industry that's booming right now from the perspective of an outsider looking in, and of course, the video that I just recommended, Keep Your Silver Cold. It's a way of hiding your silver in plain sight in a way that you've probably never thought of before. All of them will be linked in the description section down below. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which have been up for grabs, but we recently dropped the Can't Stop Stack and Won't Stop Stack in t-shirt and hoodie. This is limited edition, and this is the only week left to get one. They are going to be removed from the store at the end of the week, so if you want one, if you've been meaning to get one and you haven't yet, please move quickly. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want everybody to head on down to the comments and let me know if you can think of any strange or odd or unique ways of hiding your silver in plain sight. Any other methods, any other concepts regarding hiding your silver 
Maybe not with a safe. Obviously, a safe is the best bet, but if there are any other options out there to maybe somebody who can't afford a safe or maybe they haven't gotten around to getting a safe just yet, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.